Right, so um, you've probably seen that I've been getting a bit excited about this guy called Pietro Gnocchi uh, and, and also trying my hand at making gnocchi in the kitchen, uh, which, which has been really good actually. A little while ago I finished the six concertos for strings and continuo, very good. And now, uh, as of a few days ago, I finished uh, the six concertos for four violins, viola, cello and continuo. Really, really, really brilliant music. I mean, yeah, it's just like, why isn't this guy playing? Um, and and his, 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 uh, his, his harmony is, is quite indescribable. It's just like nobody does this kind of thing, certainly not in this period. Um, I mean, if you take the opening of the last concerto, which goes... I mean, it's really, really rich, with, particularly with those seventh chords on, on the second chords of bars one and bars one and two. Really, really good. All these concertos seem to follow a, a sort of four movement pattern of slow, slow fugue, slow something else, fast. Um, and yeah, uh, really nice fugue, quite sort of gallant. Um, but again, um, there's some really great, really, really great bits. Uh, have a listen to this. It's really, really great music. Um, you know, why wouldn't you play it? I don't know. I have to say, his, his slow movements are really, really beautiful. Um, and this, uh, this Largo is is really quite extraordinary. <laughs> So you get the you get the idea. Really, really, really lush. And then when I got to the uh, when I got to the last movement, I was I looked at it and went, "What on earth?" I yeah. And then I, I couldn't work out why the uh, why the violin three and violin four parts didn't really make much sense with um, violin one and violin two parts. Um, and I sort of went away had a, and. Uh, and then went back to the manuscript and went, ah, oh, that's what he's done. So if you have a look at the manuscript for the last movement, uh, you can see you've got three quavers in each bar up here. And then I was thinking, oh, well, how does that work? Because that's not three quavers. And then I noticed that what he's done is he put the first two violin parts in 3-8 uh, and the third and fourth violin parts in 3-4. And then viola, cello and bass in 3-8. Um, it's kind of, kind of interesting. I, I personally believe... That's um, to help uh, get the right tempo for this last movement, which is this really, really nice uh, sort of nice way to close the set. With my Sibelius software, I've not been able to uh, find a way of, of presenting the different time signatures, so I've just had to put it all in 3A, but doesn't uh, detract from how good the piece is. So I expect this concerto number six and also the one in D minor number five if you come to our concert in the Wigmore Hall in November, no, sorry, in January next year, um, we'll be doing both 
those concertos. So if you fancy a bit of gnocchi, you know where to come.